Wow, what a nice surprise to see Alibaba up three percent today. It's at seventy five fifty five. So yesterday was ex dividend. It did sell off with the overall market. Wow, yesterday was very brutal. Take a look at yesterday's price action. So yesterday it did gap down, and then it sold off all the way to seventy three fifty, and then we finally had a gap up, and it finally stayed up. Most of the time, when we have gap ups for Alibaba, it tends to fill the gap, but this time it actually went higher. Could this possibly be the bottom? Let's go ahead and take a look at some news here.、It、says what's going on with Alibaba stock Thursday? Alibaba stock is trading higher Thursday as it replaced Trudy Dai, a founding partner with CEO Eddie Wu as the head of its core Chinese e-commerce platforms. It says the move marked Alibaba's strategy to recover from recent challenges, including intensifying competition from PDD Holdings. Alibaba is now focusing on recovering its position in cloud and e-commerce. Hopefully, they do recover from that because what a sell-off it has been since it hit a high of three hundred dollars back in, I believe, twenty twenty-one. So you can see going back hit three nineteen, and ever since it's been on a downtrend. And you can see beginning of this year, it went to a high of one twenty, couldn't hold, and it slowly started falling back down. Try to get back up to above a hundred. Couldn't do that. And then when we had earnings, this was back in November. After hitting eighty-seven fifty, it had sold off massively. And you can see right now, it's trying to stay above seventy-five dollars. Let me know in the comments. Do you think we can? And then options. Well, this time around, this week. People actually made money because in the past few months, people have lost money on these calls every single day. You can see we have a lot of calls for the eighty strike still. Well, they're only going for three dollars. Are people gambling that Alibaba will go up to eighty dollars tomorrow? Ooh, there must be some really good news for it to go up that much in less than one day. And then we have let's go for next month's. We also have eighty strike, sixty four hundred volume traded, and eighty eight thousand option open interest. So that means a lot of people are holding on to eighty strike calls, and you can see they lost a lot of value. I'm pretty sure a lot of people bought these calls maybe back in end of November. At two fifty, and they lost half already. So if you bought on the dip, which was fifty cents, you are up. So again, if you bought last week, you are up quite a bit. But if you bought before that, oh, you're down. So I am down a lot of money on Alibaba because I've been buying calls every single week, and the only time I didn't buy was this week. <laughs> so I definitely missed out. Because I thought it was going to sell off after X dividend, which it did yesterday, but we were brought up again, which is good. Let me know in the comments: Are you still holding Alibaba, or did you get rid of it already? And thanks for watching.